Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Modix video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the battle pass and going over how to get tier 50 in the Valorant battle pass as fast as possible. So whenever Valorant officially released to the public, the developers implemented a battle pass feature that allows players to earn extra cosmetics for the game at only a price of $10. Many games decide to do this, and Valorant was just another one of them. And the main problem that every game faces when implementing a battle pass feature is whether or not to make the battle pass grindy. And if they don't make it grindy enough, then players finish super fast. But if they make it too grindy, then you don't have enough players finishing the battle pass. So it's definitely a balance that developers have to work on, and I feel like the Valorant devs did a pretty good job when it came to this. When the battle pass was actually released, the devs said that players would have two months to complete it, and here we are when I'm recording this video almost a month later and some players still haven't made huge progress. In today's video, I will explain to you how to complete this battle pass as quickly as possible so that you can get the tier 50 knife and all the other cosmetics in the other tiers. I think we really need to start this video by talking about the ways to gain XP because this is how the battle pass works. So in Valorant right now there are three ways to gain XP. Challenges, playing an actual game, and then playing Spike Rush. Let's start with challenges. Whenever you're on the home screen of the game, if you look towards the top left corner then you can find these symbols that will show you your missions. All you have to do is hover over them and your missions will show up. Once these missions do pop up, you can see that you have a total of 5 challenges. In total, there are 3 weeklies and 2 dailies. On this day, my daily challenges both gave me 2000 XP. As for my weekly challenges, I had 2 that were going to give me 10,200 XP, and then my third challenge was going to give me 12,000 XP. The developers already said that the weekly's XP values are supposed to grow as time goes on, so don't be surprised to find these numbers going into the 20,000 XP levels. Now the other ways to earn XP, like I said earlier, was playing the different game modes. Right now, Ranked and Unrated both give you the same value of XP, so this means you can play either one and still see similar gains when it comes to actual XP. When playing a normal game, you'll receive 100 XP for every round you play. However, if you end up winning that round, you will get a bonus of 200 XP. This means if you lose 13 to nothing, you will gain up to 1300 XP, 100 XP for every round you lost. The max XP you can earn is 5100, and this is when you win a game 13 to 12. In this certain game, you would be playing 25 rounds, and this is a very long amount of time to play for, and it's just one game. But on average, these game modes can be played in 30 to 40 minutes per game. Now let's say on average, you earn around 4,500 XP from one of these games. Because this would be achieved by winning a game 13 to 6, and that's a pretty common score that you see if you're out playing a team. In the end of let's say a 30 minute time period, you will earn 4,500 XP. I need to do this because we're going to compare the actual game to Spike Rush later in the video, so just stay tuned. So our last way to earn XP is by actually playing Spike Rush. And in this game mode, you will earn 1000 XP no matter if your team wins or loses. A regular Spike Rush game will last around 8 minutes, so if we calculate this to 30 minutes of playtime, you will receive 3750 XP. Now keep in mind, if you played a normal match, you would gain 4,500 XP, so it is more, but just remember that we took the averages of the game. So normal games, some of them can last up to 45 minutes, maybe even 50, and if this was the case, it is much more beneficial to do Spike Rush, because you'll just earn more XP. And I did a lot of calculations to get this, so if you want to know the exact details, let me know, but I don't want to bore you guys with big numbers, so let's just say that as long as a normal game takes longer than 40 minutes to complete, then your time would have been better off just playing Spike Rush. And you could just throw Spike Rush games to only play them in 4 minutes, but this isn't really fun and you aren't really playing the game, so I mean, don't do it, but you can do it. Because let's say that 
if you did happen to do this, I'm not condoning it, remember, then you could earn 7,500 XP every 30 minutes. And that's almost double the normal game mode time, but don't do it, remember, I said that. Now many of you might be wondering about how long this battle pass should take you to complete. Well the devs actually let us know this information and they said that you would need to spend around 16.3 hours every week to finish it. And this will be around 100 hours of gameplay once you finally finish the battle pass. And I know that 100 hours is a really long time but this will have players playing till the very end of the season so I feel like it's a pretty good length. Now, before we dive into this next section, I want to give a huge shout out to Chow5. He was able to make a Valorant Battle Pass tracker that will allow you to see how much XP you need to get every day in order to stay on top of the Battle Pass. Be sure to check out the description for the link to this document. And again, huge thanks to him. But on this calendar, we can see that each tier of the Battle Pass goes up 1000 XP in order to finish. So this means that the final tier will take 52,000 XP to complete. Once you add up all the numbers, it will take you 1,372,000 XP to finish the whole battle pass. And if you haven't made any progress yet, then you might want to go ahead and start playing a lot. If you want to know some of my tips, then go ahead and listen to this next part, but do not roast me in the comments because I already warned you. Okay. So I am going to be giving you one tip and it will automatically give you tier 50. Okay, you ready for it? Here it is. Play Valorant. Whoa. So wait, you're telling me that if I want to get to tier 50, I have to actually play the game? Sadly, yes. That's how battle passes work. And I already gave you all the math, but none of that really matters if you don't go out there and actually play the game. I would highly suggest trying to keep up with the calendar linked in the description, but that's honestly all the advice I can give you. Battle passes are supposed to make players grind towards them and spend countless hours playing. And that's what you have to do in order to get tier 50. So if you want all the cosmetics that come along with the 50 tiers of the battle pass, then be sure to just play the game. You have to put in those 100 hours in order to complete it. Unless maybe you wanted to spend money, I guess you could do that, but I'm talking absolutely free. This is the fastest way you can earn XP to go ahead and get to the max tier of the battle pass. Well, I hope this video did help you out further understanding how the battle pass works. And if it did, then be sure to subscribe with notifications on because we post more videos like this, giving you Valorant tips and tricks to help you get better at the game. That wraps it up for today's video and I'll see you all in the next one.